What's up adventurers? Today we're gonna to be checking out a brand new bag and this one is actually for Esther, but since she's shy about being on camera, I will do the review and she will be the model. This is called the Dakota from Drive, Dribble. Dri, dri, dra, dra, dry B? Drib. I don't know how to say the name, but regardless, let's dive into the bag. First of all, the packaging, beautiful. Makes it feel like a very high-end luxury bag. Ooh. Okay, let's see what we got. We have a couple straps, a couple more straps, a little pouch of some sort. And the bag itself. So this is the Dakota. It is a three-in-one bag. It's a purse, a day pack, and a backpack. Mm, the last two things are pretty much the same thing, but it basically gives you some expansion for the backpack. Really excited about this because in general, Esther doesn't like carrying a purse, but sometimes it is nice to have one when we're going out to like a nicer dinner. It just looks good with the outfit. So when we're on the road, this gives her the option of having a purse, but also a day pack. Let's check it out. So by default, it is in the purse form. Now there are two little rings on the side here which you can attach uh, your handle to and you have a few different options. You can do the one of the leather straps and there you go. You got a leather strap. Inside the pouch that they gave you is also a chain strap for something a little more elegant. That's nice. I like that. And then if you open it up it is now more in the backpack form. And as you can see on this leather side, this is vegan leather, by the way, there are straps here on the top and here on the bottom that are tucked in. And you can put those leather straps on there. Ta-da! Now you got some straps that you can throw it on. It's a pretty comfortable backpack. Now, if you have a lot of stuff in your bag, it might be a little heavy, especially for the thin leather straps that are on here. There is an additional accessory that comes in its own little pouch if you wanna keep it in there. And you have shoulder strap pads. Now, these aren't the most padded things, but it definitely distributes the weight a little bit wider, easy to put on, keeps your shoulders comfortable. Now, the third way to have this bag is actually an expansion. All you do is you unzip the bottom and it opens up the bag quite a bit more. So it adds a significant amount more space down here without taking away from the profile of the bag being thin and close to your body. Along the bottom of the bag, there are a couple straps, Velcro straps, to lock in anything that you wanna keep hanging on the bottom. The Velcro at the bottom also has different functionality. It is to keep the purse form tight. So I'll just undo it and link it to these loops. Tighten it like that. And that way while it's in purse form, it doesn't flap open and it looks like the purse stays as one single item. And then along the exterior portion of the backpack, there are zippers on both sides. Now the idea of this is you can actually loop a jacket right through it and have it readily accessible for you while you have your backpack on. This is great because when we're traveling, Esther does get cold, especially when there's uh, air conditioned spots or even on the plane, she wants an extra layer. But obviously when you're walking around, it gets warm. So this is a good way for her to be able to carry her jacket without me having to carry it. But it's still super easy to access. Inside here, there's also another double zippered section. It's kind of a mesh section where you can keep stuff uh, but it zips up from both sides, so you can access it from both sides depending on how you're using the bag or if you need access from it from one side or the other. On the other side of the bag, there is a pass-through place here for a suitcase. There's also a zipper right here that gives you easy access to anything that you need. That works both in purse form and in backpack form. And then there's also a zippered pocket here. Another really interesting feature of this is that if you have it in purse form and you're trying to convert it to a backpack, you don't have to empty out all the pockets or empty the bag at all to make that conversion happen. For example, in purse form, open it up, 
and you basically have a divider here. So picture the folded backpack with the folded section being right there in the middle as a divider. Now there is an interior pocket right here that I can unzip and place stuff in. But like everything else, it has a dual functionality. So when I flip it over to the backpack, that pocket was sitting here where the top was right here, right? So picture the pocket here, top here. Now I flipped it. Oh man, the top's down here. How am I gonna access it? Well, fortunately they thought about that in that pocket as well, has zippers on both sides. So I can unzip it as a backpack and there is still a zipper that lets me access the pocket. That's creative. Another optional accessory, especially if you're going somewhere that rains a lot, is a little rain cover. The rain cover basically has a couple different access points for your straps, depending on how you're wearing it. And you can easily throw the bag in there and secure the top with this Velcro. One of the other accessories they had is a little handle for your backpack. You actually strap it on to the top two rings and you have a handle that makes it easy to grab. So that's it, this is the Dakota. This is in sandstone. If you have any questions about it, let us know in the comments below. Esther will help answer it. And of course, as you've seen, she's been loving wearing it so far. If you wanna get the Dakota, we have a link to it in the description below. Otherwise, happy adventuring.